Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Merman Master coming at you from the Team Time Riders Yugi Tube channel with an updated deck profile on my spirals. Now, as you remember, I used to run the deck as a spiral hero deck, but I wanted to get this updated deck profile out to you guys in advance of the brand new set um, Raging Tempest is going to be coming out in the beginning of February, I believe, and um, they haven't really revealed any of the new support cards yet for that. So I just wanted to get this profile in there, um, show you guys what I've been running and what I've been enjoying. Um, as you can see, the Ally of Justice uh, Light Gazer here, you can probably tell the reason why that is around. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I've been, this is the build that I've been enjoying so far. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile and I will showcase to you all of the things that I play. So to start out with the deck, we have three Spiral Super Agents. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you summon this card by revealing the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you declare it right, Monster, Spell, or Trap, then you special summon this to the field and you can pop a card. Um, this card can also be Normal Summon, so if you fail on the Special Summon ability, you can also Normal Summon Super Agent to have extra of like effect and ability to you know, sort, of, sort of like move things forward from there. But uh, Super Agent's a very good card. It can also be Reborn back with the, um, with the re Reborn Spell card. So is kind of like the linchpin of your whole deck. Uh, we still have yet to see um, what kind of support they're going to get. Apparently there's something in the set that can be treated as uh, Spiral Super Agent. But uh, right now, the three, uh, the three Super Agent is the number that we go with. Three Quick Fix. I think this is arguably like the best card in the deck. Um, very rarely do I find myself using Quick Fixes and the other's effects to recycle Super Agent or to do things like off of Super Agent. But uh, Quick Fix just basically searches you any um, Spiral Gear card, and it's not a hard OPT. So you can search for Drone and um, the Spell card an unlimited number of times. Um, basically, as many times as you can loot Quick Fix, you can search. So the fun play that I sort of you know do with this is that I use Quick Fix and can use it to make like multiple like Dulla Hands or multiple like other rank ones, or even make Gold Rat. Um, because technically the amount of things that you search, it's just raw advantage. So cycling back things, thinning out your deck, and then getting a draw off of Gold Rat can actually be sometimes more beneficial than you think. It's crazy that there's a deck that can now actually run Gold Rat. Three Drone, same as Quick Fix, except boosts up uh, Spiral Super Agent and can also um, reorganize the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And you'd be surprised how big of an impact this can have on your opponent. Just search the top three cards of their deck, organize them. The main effect is, of course, for being able to declare correctly off of Super Agent, but Drone's effect is still able to be used in a very, very good manner. And you can also banish this and something else to add a Super Agent back to your hand. So that's also a very, very good play. Now, the new card, of course, is uh, three copies of Spiral Master Plan. You may be asking why three. Well, Spiral Master Plan is not really the most consistent of all of the spiral cards, but still has the ability to be, you know, discarded to the graveyard, sent there, and to be able to be summoned off of a certain other cards that we run in the deck. So there's a lot of ways to get this out. And then once per turn, you can add a spiral mission from your deck to your hand. And when it's sent to the graveyard, by any means, way, or form, uh, you basically get to special summon, um, or you get to add one spiral monster and then one spiral resort field spell from your deck to your hand. So a lot of plussing when you get Master Plan out. Um, the key goal, of course, is to get Master Plan out. And to do so, we have three copies of Christron Quan. Um, this is a way to get Spiral Master Plan out of your deck. And I actually really, really like this. Um, as you know, Christrons are kind of like Formula Synchron-esque monsters to tune and synchro on your opponent's turn to bring out you know, things that disrupt, like um, to disrupt your opponent's plays. And with Christron Quan plus Spiral Master Plan, um, during your opponent's turn, it can pull Spiral Master Plan out of your deck, activate its effect to Synchro into Ally of Justice Light Gazer, who is so far your only level 8 generic machine type Synchro monster. And when that happens, uh, when Ally of Light, uh, Justice Light Gazer is summoned, um, activate the Master Plan's effect in Graveyard, which will allow you the ability to search the Spiral Resort and any Spiral monster you want out of your deck. So a lot of raw advantage, of course, not really any way to use that raw advantage yet, but um, you know, getting getting a beater, a big beater on the board with Chris Drawn Quan is uh, 
is one way to, I guess, you know, keep the field open while you're doing specific plays. Now, the last spiral card, which technically is not a spiral card, but is one copy of the Charming Resort staff. Now, I've been testing this out because, like, as I said, you know, this takes up, like, a normal summon and is just not really, like, you know, something that a lot of people are considering running. But, um, basically, indirectly and directly supports Spiral Super Agent. I feel like the deck is, like... The way that this deck is, is two different parts of the same whole. You know, you have one side which supports the rank one engine, and then the other side which supports the sort of super agent engine, which you need to, I guess, keep the deck running. Um, the problem I have, I guess, is with super agent's ability to, you know, be a good enough monster to stay on board. And um, Spiral uh, Charming Resort Staff sort of fills in that role and sort of helps you out in, you know, keeping super agent around. Um, allowing Super Agent to beat over things for, like, massive amounts of damage. Um, if you guys can see over here, um, uh, if Spiral Super Agent is destroyed, then you can banish this card from the graveyard to return that Spiral Super Agent from your graveyard to your hand. So a little bit more recursion on that aspect. And then the final card we have, of course, is a copy of Effect Veiler. So this is, of course, a casual deck, um, not anything competitive. I know Effect Veiler has been largely ignored due to the presence of Drancy and other stuff that work better using Forbidden Chalice, but it's still a good card nonetheless. Moving on to the spells, we have three copies of Spiral Resort. Uh, this field spell is fantastic. Once per turn, search a Spiral um, monster from your deck to your hand, and all Spiral cards that you control, except for this, are um, not able to be um, target, uh, targeted by card effects. So very, very good. Like gives them, gives like your beady, like your beefy beaters, like a little bit of extra protection. Maybe allows you to get up super agent a little bit higher. The only problem, the only problem, and like one of its good sides and one of its bad sides is a mandatory shuffle back one monster from your graveyard back into the deck each turn, or this card is automatically destroyed. Three machine dupe. You basically use these. This is this is how you ramp up with um with your. Uh, your, where is it, um, your drones and your uh, quick fixes, and on the added side, you can also even use the machine duplication on Chris Ron Quan, as it's a machine type monster that has exactly 500 attack, but you basically use these to ramp up, and then um, any one of those in combination with a, um, with one of the, uh, where is it, the spiral, uh, unit big red which uh we also run three of in the deck and basically that equals a one card um utopia kaiser of course we can't run utopia kaiser or normal people can't run it due to the fact that it's a prize card but um spiral gear big red is a wonderful wonderful card that is very easy to be um used alongside machine duplication and the lack of once per turn uh hard once per turns and soft once per turns on um, all of your level 1 spirals basically allows you to go off like crazy as long as you have the resources to do so. Um, that's one of the ways that you can basically turn a lot of the raw resources and advantage that spirals give you into something a little bit better. Two copies, of course, of Instant Fusion. Very, very good card. Um, no need to explain it. Norden is a beast. And not to mention, um, if you use Norden on Christron Quan, which is a brand new tuner that I... Um, that uh, was not in the deck the last time. You can not only make XYZ monsters, but you can also pull in synchros. Um, if you have like another, like a Spiral Super Age and you top deck this and you go into Chris Ron Quan, um, of course you can only synchro into machine type monsters if you activate its effect. However, when it's on the field um, during your turn, there's no, there's no real uh, restrictions that the card has. So next, of course, um, is a triplicate. Um, I don't know if you guys have remembered these, but the three Rank Up Magic cards. Uh, Rank Up Magic, the seventh one, Quick Chaos, and Admiration to the Thousands. Admiration to the Thousands is actually a brand new addition, and I'll talk about this. So Quick Chaos, first of all, um, great for OTKs, basically ranks you up one rank higher, is better than Baryon's Force in nearly every single way. Um, the added plus of being able to steal a material is not from an opponent's XYZ monster is not a reason to run Baryon's Force over Quick Chaos. And if you if you are attacking with like Utopia, for instance, activate Quick Chaos, um, send it into uh, 
Utopia, uh, like whatever, whatever, like Utopia Ray V or Utopia Ray Victory, and then beat over your opponent's monster once again. Um, you know, it's very easy to stack up OTKs with this kind of card. So very good. Um, rank up magic, the seventh one, um, summon whatever, uh, over 100 number you want. Most people usually go for 101 or 107. I'm a big fan, as you guys know, of 102 and 104. Um, so since this is a casual deck, I always love to go 102. And uh, most recently now, I picked up a Ultimate Rare First Dead copy of 104, as well as the original First Dead um, uh, Masquerade, 104 Masquerade. So uh, very much looking forward to running both of those in the deck as well. And then, of course, the final card is Rank Up Magic Admiration of the Thousands. And this is actually a very, very interesting card. Um, I was reading it just randomly. I picked it up a couple of month, like months back or something. And uh, basically what happens is um, if you have a bunch of monsters, if you and your opponent have a bunch of monsters of the same rank in your graveyard, you can take all of those monsters and overlay them into one monster who's a single rank higher. So if you're milling, like you're consistently XYZ and milling a crap ton of your monsters into the graveyard, you have the ability to use Rank Up Magic Admiration to the thousands to um, basically for free special summon a rank high five uh, or higher monster. The one I usually, my go-to is C5 um, because it's a level six monster. And most of the times if you're ranking up, like you have a good deal of level fives in your graveyard. So that's that, and uh, extra added benefit is all three of these, of course, can be used for your um, for ranking up from Utopia Roots or normal Utopia into um, Utopic Dragon. So that's it for those, and then the final couple of spell cards we have, of course, is um, the Spiral Mission um, Assault. Um, when a spiral monster you control destroys another monster by battle, um, you can draw one card, and then you can banish this card from your graveyard and special summon a spiral from your hand. So another easy way to get out um, Master Plan. I'm testing it out at one right now just to see how I feel about it. Um, usually you're using Master Plan for that graveyard search effect, but uh, it's useful for other things as well. Copy of Foolish Burial, very good. Rhoda, search that super agent. And finally, Book of Moon. So that's it for the spells. Moving on to the traps. Um, a lot of this, of course, is also pretty standard. Mirror Force at two. Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, I've still kept in the Battle Guard Howling right now at one, because um, I really like the interaction it has with Super Agent. Though beware if your opponent um, pops this card before, uh, before they get to attack into your Super Agent, as uh, that's a little bit troublesome. Torrential Tribute, and then finally Solemn Warning. And that's it for the monsters. Um, this is a forty-one. Uh, this is a uh, forty-one card deck. Um, as you mentioned, the uh, I don't have the extra deck really prepared for this yet. I've been working a little bit on it. But Ally of Justice Light Gazer is uh, one of the cards in the deck. I'm thinking about running this at possibly two or so. Um, we also have like several of the utopic stuff from the last set, um, as well as the Rank Up Magic, the Seventh One stuff, Hyper Librarian, and other synchros such as Trishula as well. So yeah, um, this has been the deck profile. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to give it a like um, and also comment and subscribe if you have not done so already. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys at the next deck profile. This has been the Mermail Master with the Team Time Riders YouTube channel, and we're signing out. Catch you guys next time. Peace.